Um, so um, we what about reactive oxygen species and reactive nitrogen species, like those, you know, reactive things? Does it bind yeah. up? Yeah, absolutely. Well, everyone, and even some of my literature, I would say, everyone says that zeolite is a direct antioxidant because it'll trap free radicals in its zeolite structure and deactivate them. I don't know if that's 100% sure or not. What we do know is zeolite isn't strong antioxidant and it has antioxidant capacity. I can't tell you 100% if that's the main mechanism. I know there are other mechanisms. So for two of them, one, zeolite reduces the production of free radicals. So because you have all these toxins, you know, if you have the mycotoxins and the excess histamine and the metals, whatever, all these toxic elements, those are causing extra free radicals to be produced. So as zeolite binds them and basically removes them from the body, you're getting less free radical production. So there's one key. Zeolite also raises your total antioxidant capacity, meaning your body can now handle more free radicals without resulting in oxidative stress. So basically my formula is- Is that indirectly because it's removing your toxic load? I mean- It's from whatever it's doing, either that or something else. I mean, it definitely raises- it raises with it, and there's research indicating it was chicken research, but still research indicating that the zeolite raises glutathione peroxidase levels, superoxide dismutase, and vitamin status. Mm -hmm. So as you're basically raising your body's natural antioxidants and antioxidant capacity, you can just handle more free radicals. So because we're we're produ we're producing these free radicals every day. Right. Uh, if your body can keep up with it, that's totally antioxidant. Yeah. yeah, if you can keep up, it's not a problem. If you, if they overload your system. That's where it results in oxidative stress, which is the inflammation and cell damage. So we're basically lowering the free radical production and raising your body's natural ability to handle it. So you can just handle way more. And then in addition to that, it may also be directly trapping free radicals. So there's two to three ways that it's working, but definitely one of the more effective things I found for reducing oxidative stress. Um, because when you're taking a traditional antioxidant, it's vitamin C or, or anything, basically it's a free, uh, it's donating an electron. Right? It's a free radical direct scavenger, but it's not removing the actual cause of the free radical production. Right. So this is a two-step approach. If you can use those, otherwise you got to use those forever to keep up with the demand, which a lot of people do. This with zeolite, you can basically remove the cause and you can lower the dose and you won't need the others, or at least not as much. So that's kind of how that yeah, works. I'm trying, to, I'm trying 